Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. Currently in Windows 11, we do not have an option to be able to um, display seconds in the system tray clock. Now, that is a feature that is available over on Windows 10, um, but never rolled out with Windows 11, as many of you may know. Now, this is actually a highly requested feature, as I have posted on previously, being able to see and show seconds in the system tray clock, and has been tested uh, in the and is been tested in the Windows 11 Insider program, and as I've mentioned previously, um, may also roll out in an up and coming update to Windows 11. Now, talking about updates, earlier this week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the Patch Tuesday cumulative updates for Windows 11, and for Windows 11 22H2, the update was KB5026372. And after this update has been applied, which it will because it's a compulsory mandatory update, it finally brings back the ability to be able to show and display seconds in the system tray clock. Now, it's not a default feature or a setting. You can just head over to in the settings and turn on. At this stage, um, the update reintroduced the option to be able to adjust and tweak the Windows Registry Editor to be able to show seconds in the system tray clock. So we have to head to the registry editor to apply these changes. And if you are comfortable to fiddle in the registry and um, you want to enable the seconds in the system tray clock, it's quite simple to do. Now, seconds in the system tray clock, as mentioned, will roll out eventually. But if you don't want to wait, then what I suggest is just head to your start menu, right click on that, click on run, enter reg edit, Click on OK, and this will open up the Windows Registry Editor. Now, what we have to do here is we have to navigate through a couple of keys, and then we have to um, add a value, and then um, then actually change the actual value. So, first of all, head to H key Current User, and head over to Software. Expand that key. Head down to Microsoft. Expand that and open up Microsoft. Then we head down to Windows. Do the same open up Windows, and now we're looking for current version, open up and expand current version, and in the current version um, key, we are looking for Explorer, so head to Explorer and open up that key, and in the Explorer key, what we are looking for now is a key called Advanced. Now, what we need to do uh, with the Advanced um, key is we need to add a, a, a D word value. And we need to call this value show seconds in system clock. So to do this, um, what we need to do is just copy and paste that actual value in. That's the easiest. Just copy that value, show seconds in system clock. I'll leave uh, these instructions, by the way, down below um, for easy reference if you would be interested. And we need to right click on the advanced key, hit to new, and create a new D word 32 bit value. And we need to call that, I'm just going to paste that value in, show seconds in system clock as mentioned. And now what you need to do is you need to double click on that again. And now you need to actually change the value data from the default 0 to 1. Click on OK. And now you can actually see, if I just minimize all of this, you can actually see there's now seconds showing in my system tray clock. So if I just use the magnifier quickly to zoom in so we can see it a bit better in the video. There we go. You can actually see those seconds now being displayed in the system tray clock. And this is actually working even with my world time. You can see above in the little hover floating window above, it's actually working with my world clock as well. So showing uh, seconds in the system tray clock now available in Windows 11 22H2 after applying the Patch Tuesday update KB5026372. And just something to take note of regarding the registry before I actually forget. Before you fiddle in the registry, what I do suggest is just export the registry and just do a backup. It doesn't take very long. And in case anything goes wrong um, while fiddling in the registry, um, you can always come back and import that um, backup just as a quick safety net. And as mentioned, you can see these, the seconds in the system tray clock. And if you want to... Um, uh, turn that off. You just go back to the same the same um, value, and you just right click on that, and you go delete, or you can change its value back to zero. But or you can just delete it, delete it, 
And there you go. You can see these seconds have disappeared from the system tray clock in Windows 11 22H2. So that's just a quick way that you can enable those seconds in that clock um, before Microsoft um, actually rolls that out as a default setting. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.